Funny enough, I just recorded this entire video and realized I messed up the audio. But nonetheless, we are gonna try this again and show you guys my favorite LEGO Star Wars clone troopers. This is my current LEGO Star Wars clone army, and if you guys can't tell, I've improved it a lot since last year through various Clone Wars videos celebrating the 20th anniversary of Clone Wars here on my channel. Whether that was a challenge or whatnot, I've got up over 200 LEGO Star Wars clone troopers in my current clone army. And today, as I said before, I wanna talk about my favorites. So I think the simplest way to do this is go from left to right, uh, tackling the 501st, my phase one army, and along with my phase two, other variations, uh, and discuss all my favorites. But to do that, uh, I have to whip out this, what was a brand new base plate, and get all my clones sorted and talk about my favorites. So these are my 15 favorite LEGO Star Wars clone troopers ever released to date in 2023. As you can tell here, there's quite a variation from 2008 to 2022 at this point. There is a lot of clone troopers that I really, really like and adore. All of them having their own unique stories why I like them so much. Uh, so without further ado, we might as well just get into it with the front. Captain Rex uh, originally released in 2008 in the ATTE uh, Walker for the Clone Wars initial release was a fantastic minifig and still is to this date. This is one of my favorite and uh, for very nostalgic reasons. Now the phase two version is also really good and I really look forward to getting it in the UCS Venator, the newly released UCS Venator that will be coming out for Black Friday in 2023. But as of right now, this is, like I said, my favorite for nostalgic reasons. I had it in the ATTE Walker, the 2010 clone turbo tank and for those reasons it's really one of my favorite along with the awesome design the very simplistic clone wars design it's just very nostalgic and one of my favorites some of the ra same reasons can be said about the wolf pack troopers including the original phase one commander wolf and the wolf pack trooper itself released in the 2011 republic frigate it was always one of the sets i really wanted as a kid when i went to toys r us and unfortunately while i couldn't buy it then or in 2017 when i got back in the lego star wars i had the chance to buy it in 2020 when I got it for a phenomenal deal, um, I think of $125, the whole set, including all minifigs, which when you look at now is a steal of a deal. And I'm pretty fortunate to get it back then because uh, I, I still love these clone troopers to this date. I love the print. It's very true to the source material. They just look really cool. It's too bad they weren't built in more mass uh, back then or even to this day with the phase two version. Um, hopefully we can see more of something like that in the future. But as of right now, they are still my favorites. The row behind that also affords for some of the most nostalgic to me for certain reasons. Um, these are all 2014 versions of Clone Troopers. Uh, of course, we have the Wolf Pack, the original Phase 2, the Shock Trooper, and Commander Neo. Of course, the Wolf Pack was released in the AV7 canon of 2014. The Phase 2 plane Clone Trooper was released in the Clone Turbo Tank Microfighter, Shock Trooper in the Coruscant Police Gunship, and Commander Neo in the Battle on Sally Kamai. Now, all these were released during my dark age of LEGO Star Wars where I stopped collecting. Um, That's what us collectors refer to it as. But in 2017, when I got back into collecting, I wanted all these troopers, but I just couldn't afford them at the time. In the past year, through recent challenge videos and stuff, I have been able to go out and get some of these for phenomenal deals and have them in my collection. All these, I really love the print too. I love the print on the torso, arms, everything. It looks really good to the original design and the only problem i have with them is no helmet holes but i think that is a okay pass for the phenomenal design of these like i said i love a lot of these for the design and nostalgic factors that i couldn't get it in 2017 but now i am at the position where i can buy these and hopefully um, more of these will come out in the future we really need some original phase two um, clones and some kind of battle pack it's looking like that might come true in early 2024 I do not want to jinx it for us, but it's looking like that might come true in a battle pack. The same can be said for the Phase 2 Wolfpack Troopers, along with Commander Wolf. We really need a Phase 2 version of that and this clone trooper in the updated design, um, as these figures are worth a lot now, including, well, actually all four of these are worth a pretty penny now. I can throw pictures up on the screen of the Wolfpack Phase 2, Shock Trooper, and Commander Neo. They're all worth a fortune now and really need an updated design so we can get the price down of these older ones along with the new ones but behind that again we have even more meaningful ones to me um of course commander cody just starting it off is one of the most desired figures fans had for the longest time and in 2022 we finally got an updated version of him in the attte walker perhaps one of the best sets in recent years not just for the minifig selection but for the set itself we got commander cody and fans you know we couldn't be more happier of course, there are still some people that had some complaints about the helmet holes, how there is technically two here, but there's only supposed to be one. 
but I think the hype surrounding this figure and everything, it was worth it, and I am still really pleased with it. I love the print. It's very true to the source material. And it looks really good in your clone army, and it was one that fans need it forever, and I'm really happy with. The same can't be said for all these minifigs, but they work really well. The 212th Airborne Trooper is really, really good. It's a fantastic clone trooper in all rights. It was seen in Episode 3, and fans loved it ever since, and we got a proper version of it in 2014. They nailed the helmet mold, they nailed the printing, they na nailed the waist cape. It, it's, it's just perfect. I, I really don't have any complaints about this trooper. It is one of my favorites. And the only thing I could ask for is more of them to be released because the older versions and even the newer versions are very expensive because they are released in sets that are highly desirable. But a very phenomenal army builder in its own right and one I hope to see more of in the future. The 41st Elite Corpse is also a very popular clone legion for very obvious reasons the Kashyyyk Trooper was highly seen and highly desired in episode 3 this is one of course that was originally released in 2014 in this updated print and I wasn't collecting at the time so I was not able to get this thing in mass but for the few I do have I really adore and you know it is it's nostalgic to me at this point too because with Commander Gree and the Kashyyyk Trooper I got this in the 2016 clone turbo tank which I actually got for Christmas in 2017 and for some of you who don't know in 2010 i originally got the 2010 clone turbo tank so it was kind of poetic in a way getting those like seven years apart for christmas um when i first got out of lego star wars kind of i was leaning to my dark ages and then getting back into it again i got the clone turbo tank again uh reigniting my love for like clone troopers and lego collecting as a whole it was really nice and these mean a lot to me and on top of that they are also really nice clone troopers with a fantastic design and something can also be said about this arc trooper um right off the bat it is my favorite clone trooper especially because of the design i think that is the number one leading factor to it um it's just a fantastic design i don't know why they've never released more arc troopers beside it they even made the head mold for it but they only released it in a 2012 battle pack but besides the excellent design helmet mold everything there's also something to be said about the nostalgic factor as when I first got back into collecting in 2017, I actually went to Bricks and Minifigs for the, one of the first times in my life and found this set for a very good price of $20. Um, even back then, that was a good price. The whole set with all minifigs and, you know, looking back on that now, it is one of the best pickups that I ever made because this guy is phenomenal and is worth a lot now, especially with the ARF Trooper and the Commando Droids. It's a very desirable set. If you guys have watched my channel, you know I praise this minifig up to the nines. It's very underrated, I think, in some regards. Same thing with Commander Gree. And it's one I think everyone should have in their collection and one I think Lego should make more of in the future. Arc Troopers are very, very cool and they even had the helmet mold for it. So I don't understand why they never made more Arc Troopers, but I hope they do in the future. And that leaves us with our last but not least clone troopers. Uh, ones that are more recent in the 2020 to 2023 area era or the revival, I guess, of Lego Star Wars, I like to call it. Um, we have two... 187 Troopers, of course, the original and the Airborne and the 332nd Ahsoka's Clone Trooper from the 2020 AAT. Now, in recent years, we've seen a large boom in LEGO Star Wars collecting and some really fantastic designs, including these three right here, which is why they're included. I love their designs, their color, they add to a clone army and everything about them, really. These mean a lot to the LEGO Star Wars community right now as uh, the 332nd Trooper is highly desired uh, with the revival of the clone wars season seven it instantly became one of the best clone troopers and the 187th well it's not canon it is a fantastic designed clone trooper one of the best lego has ever released i think they really just knocked it out of the park with both troopers um making the republic fighter tank which is overpriced in my opinion but still very highly desirable because of this clone trooper or both of these for that matter um over time i'd like to get even more of these at my clone army um make the 332nd accurate to what we've seen in clone wars and just hope to build the 187 to a mask which i think is feasible um which will probably be a whole base plate but really that caps out my favorite lego star wars clone troopers ever made and just looking at this now, I think it's really funny that I went from over 200 clone troopers to just 15 of these. Um, if I had more clone troopers in my army, I, I would like to add to this, like some new ones that are being released throughout 2023 and maybe into 2024. But these are my 15 favorite for now. And I really want to know in the comments below what your 15 favorite are. I know everyone has a different opinion on clone troopers. So let me know down in the comments below 
what your 15 favorite are, or even just your favorite in general. It doesn't have to be 15. I just said that because I have 15 here. And let me know what you thought of the video. It's a bit of a different one, and I've had a little bit of a hell trying to record this. As I said, the audio was messed up first. But it's done now, and um, I hope you all did enjoy. So if you did, make sure to hit that like button. Um, subscribing to the channel also helps, and I'll catch you all in the next one.